Yesterday, thousands upon thousands of people from all over the United States descended upon Washington, D.C. to mark the 20th anniversary of the Million Man March. Many felt it was necessary to be here to show unity and support during the recent epidemic of black lives being lost to police and white vigilantes. This is Brother Africa Bambada, University of Zulu Nation, the Armin Ra University of Hip Hop Culture, and we are at the 20th anniversary of the Million Man March in unity and solidarity of our people with justice or else. We got to organize, we got to learn, we got to understand, we got to each one, teach one, help one, and feed one. Peace, unity, love, and hell, having fun. I, I'm meeting with these mothers and these families that have lost lives, man. It's like, the pain and the hurt that they go through, man, I think it's important for us to make a sacrifice to show them that we haven't forgot. We haven't forgot about Trayvon or Michael Brown or Sandra Bland or Ayanna Jones, you know what I'm saying? Like, these names still mean something to us. We don't got enough guns to go up against the precinct, right? And you can do all the marches in the world that you want to do, but until we learn how to invest in ourselves, we ain't going to get anywhere. We, we endorse everybody else. Okay, we're consumers, but we're not producers, and we need to become producers, and we need to support each other by investing in other black businesses, investing in other black companies, all right? So, at the end of the day, I, I could talk all day about it, but that's my message. Give back and buy black. We got to support each other if we're going to get anywhere. The Honorable Minister Farrakhan called upon change in the policing of the community and for the black community to do better. He called for an economic boycott of Black Friday in the Christmas season. Farrakhan praised the Black Lives Matter movement as the leaders of the new civil rights era. I'm going to take away from what Farrakhan said is that we all need to pull together and uh, strengthen our communities. And one way we can do that is basically um, withdrawing a little bit from this economic system. Right now we're going to start off with uh, not spending so much money during Christmas and possibly not spending any money at all. The court system isn't going to give us justice that we're willing to make a sacrifice first to come together and secondly to say ain't going to be no Christmas, ain't going to be no Black Friday, man. We want justice for our people in our community right now. And so this was the first step. The next step, we ain't dealing with no Black Friday. Black Friday going to be black people coming together and saving our money or spending our money with each other.